Hey, what's up? Time for a little rig rundown of my engine room here. Uh, I drive this show, actually. No, Ben drives the show, but I, you know, without me, he couldn't do anything. So I just want to talk about my kit a little bit. Um, this is a Gretsch USA Custom. Uh, and the finish, I don't know if you can tell, but if you are familiar with the Death Cab catalog, um, it actually matches the colors of Thank You For Today. And I had this kit made when that album came out. And um, I have a number of them, but this one's kind of special. It sounds really good. Uh, the snare drum is a solid maple shell, also a Gretsch USA Custom. Um, the symbols I have, hard to see from the top, but I think we have a shot of them. They're Zildjian Karope symbols, uh, and I have 15 inch hats, uh, 18 inch crash, and a 22 inch ride. Uh, I also have a sampler over here. This is my Roland SPDS sampler, which there are a few samples in. A little bit of kick and snare sounds to help support what I already have going on for certain tracks. Um, just to make it sound a little more like a record. It's not, if they weren't there, I don't think you'd notice it, but makes everybody feel good on stage and hopefully out front. Also, this sampler is actually a transport. It's controlling some of the playback rig that we have for the minimal stuff. So not to get it confused with the kind of playback that you see in like big, huge pop shows or something, but there's a little bit of percussion and some ambient sounds and things that happen uh, throughout some of the newer songs. And I'm the one starting and stopping and controlling all that stuff here. And this screen here, this little monitor, uh, it basically mirrors the Ableton playback rig, so I can see what's going on and happen. And people ask a lot about that screen, that's what that is. Um, other than that, I can keep, uh, you know, I got a headphone amp. I'm not wireless, I, I like to be hardwired with my in ears. Um, sounds better to me. Uh, DW hardware, uh, you know, nothing, sim nothing super crazy, it's all pretty simple gear. I used to use a little bit larger kit, more symbols, but I think that it's important to just, you know, bring out what you need to make make the songs work and not overplay. Nothing against anyone that's got big rad kits and, and making all <laughs> kinds of crazy soundscapes work. Glenn Kochi, perfect example, Wilco, one of his band. Um, he's got an immense drum set. I always joke about how big it is, but it's, it's killer. I, I love all that kind of setup, but Again, this is pretty basic for me. Uh, these drums work great. This will probably work for this whole album cycle, but you never know, I might swap it out and do something different. Rig rundown.